Hi, this is Kevin, and today you're going to learn about quality attributes and quality attribute scenarios. Let's get started. What are quality attributes? Well, say you have a system. It could be a hardware system, software system, it doesn't really matter. That system has certain properties, right? Like how fast it is or how easy it is to use. Well, quality attributes are the measurable and testable properties of that system and how those properties satisfy the needs of its users. Another name for quality attributes are technical requirements, which perhaps sound more impressive. Some people also say non-functional requirements, but I'd recommend not using that phrase. Mostly, quality attributes are words that end in illities. Now I will talk about quality attribute scenarios. A quality attribute scenario is an objective format to capture quality attributes. They are basically quality attributes broken up into six pieces. Source, stimulus, artifact, environment, response, and response measure. The source is anything that interacts with your system. It could be a user, another application, or something like that. The source generates a stimulus to the artifact, which is a feature in your system running under a certain condition called the environment. The artifact in your system then generates a response, which we then measure. This sounds kind of hard to process, so I'll provide some examples of quality attribute scenarios to help understand all of this better. To this end, I've chosen Voltron as a system. Yes, Voltron, defender of the universe, a mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil, and so on. Voltron is a robot that consists of five robot lions of different colors that join together to form the giant robot. Each robot lion is piloted by a Voltron pilot. If you are somehow unfamiliar with Voltron, then instead of Voltron you can apply these examples to another system like an airplane or something. Without further ado, I will present some examples of quality attribute scenarios. Let's get started! So our first attribute is availability. Availability is the percentage of the time the system should have its lights on, up and running. An example of a quality attribute scenario on availability would be, when a Voltron pilot presses the on button, the blue line, despite being under attack, should start up in 95% or more of the time. So in this case, the source is the pilot, the stimulus is pressing the on button, the artifact is the blue lion, the environment is when under attack, the expected response is start up, and the response measure is 95%. Note that the response measure is a number of some sort. That makes this scenario objective and measurable. The next attribute is modifiability. This is how easy it is to make changes to the system. Changes could be adding or changing features, moving features, and so on. An example of a quality attribute scenario on modifiability would be when an engineer decides to add roller skates to Voltron, under normal operations, the modification can be done in one year. You will see the environment specified as under normal operations quite a bit in quality attribute scenarios, mainly because the system is under normal operations most of the time. Other options for environment could be when the system is undergoing high usage or when the system is powered off or something like that. The next attribute is maintainability. This is how costly it is to keep the system running so that it doesn't break down. Maintainability is not about adding new features, we just want the system to run as is. It is similar to modifiability but slightly different. Nonetheless, I typically just lump maintainability and modifiability together, since they are kind of the same thing. An example of maintainability is a pilot that wishes to update the operating system of the Redline computer under normal operations should be able to do it in three days. Usability is a measure of the user's experience when using the system. In order to be objective, we should try to measure how fast, like how many clicks or button presses does it take to perform a task, or how fast does it take for someone to learn how to do something, and so on. An example of usability is, 
If a pilot decides to learn how to fly the Green Lion under normal operations, the pilot should be able to learn it in under two days. Reliability is the property of a system that measures how often the system operates correctly over a period of time. There are many different ways to measure reliability. You have failure rate, repair rate, MTBF, MTTF, and so on. For example, when a pilot presses a button to shoot lasers from the Green Lion under normal operations, the Lion should shoot lasers 99% of the time. Performance measures how quickly or efficient a system is. What is the latency of the system? How much data can it handle? How much memory does it consume? And so on. For example, when the Voltron pilot steps on the accelerator of the Black Lion, under normal conditions, the Lion accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 10 seconds. Nowadays, with all the cracking and hacking going on, Security, and in particular cybersecurity, is very important. There's an entire field of IT that focuses on security. Quality attribute scenarios involving security usually revolves around the five A's in one way or another. Those five A's are authentication, authorization, asset protection, audit, and administration. An example of a quality attribute for security is if an enemy tries to enter the door of the robot lion when it is powered off, then the enemy succeeds in 0% of the time. Because security is so important, here is another example for you. If a user performs any action on the robot lion under normal operations, then that action is logged 100% of the time. Testability is a measure of how easy it is to test the features in the system, like how quickly or easily can a feature be tested. An example of a testability scenario is if an engineering staff decides to create a test for a new functionality in the Red Lion, after the feature is completed, the test can be created in four hours. Interoperability is how well your system interacts with other systems. It could also be a measure of how easy the system is to move to another platform. An example of interoperability is if the team decides to access the robot lion from an old radio, during normal operations, access is successful after the engineering staff works on it for under 12 hours. What do we do now that we have all these scenarios? Well, that's the subject of the next video. If you like this content about software, please make sure to hit like and subscribe to this channel. I hope you have a good day and thanks for watching.